What's going on now? <laughs> oh, we had a rap. I know it made Scott laugh before, but you know, I'm not going to remove that song. Yet. Yeah. Hi guys! Alright, we will show you come live then for a second. Perks of going live on Facebook, honestly, if you're using laptop. But anyway, live from M and MMS. <laughs> God give me instructions. <laughs> and there's Steel Studios. This is Andy M. And this is S. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mandy S. I'm moving on as S now. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? So it's just going to be S I am. Oh, well, that's bugger this up, man, doesn't it? Completely. Yeah. <laughs> so good. I can't see Amanda's now called S. Is it S and N? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to have to move my mouse around. Yeah, it's all right now. And this just shows she likes friends. So we're going to talk about our new collection today, after all. Yeah, well, that's fair. Yeah, see? This, the lockdown's all we can see. Now, it's got on the book. Andy N and Amanda Steele, but it's now got now she does out herself as S. But anything in the future is going to be Andy N and S. S yeah. <laughs> or maybe not. No, no. I don't think you're Andy N. That would be so. Red Ray Monday. Okay. Now, seriously, what is lockdown we can see? Well, yeah, what is the lockdown is all we can see about? It's a chat book full of poems that you wrote in lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's in, I mean, you did another book on lockdown one day, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, so. it's called Always Death. Before dawn. Yeah. I just kept writing, so it's been a small point. Yeah, I've been a bit slow in this, and don't answer that. <laughs> Probably even slow. But no, I've took my time all with this, right? So, is after we, so we eventually, we knew straight away, man, didn't we? Before you did, did your, your last chapter on lockdown poems, we were going to do a joint one together. So, yeah. So, this guy said as well. But I think, what is Five poems each and three, three joint poems in it. <laughs> So that is you know, like, so much I keep calm down here, right? So but anyway, well it's a joint um, it is a joint collection. There is three joint poems in this book and something like what ten or whatever it is separate ones. Now anybody who gets the book, you get a special treat at the end of the back page, don't you remember? Yeah, it's a nice picture. Yeah, I've lost to wear masks now. Yeah, they look yeah. better than masks. <laughs> I do. This is all today, really, isn't it? So, but anyway, um, so now on the back of it, if people are wondering where that picture was took, we will be honest, won't we? This was took, what, two fr the Fridays ago, was it? Yeah, picture? at Manchester Coach Station. Yeah, Tom Street Coach Station, where we had fun and the games. So, but there's no point about National Express in this book. If there was, Facebook would probably get the video. <laughs> but anyway, seriously, okay, we're going to do some pieces together for you. I'm going to start off with poem called Alone Together. Now you started this one off a man with this piece, didn't you? Yeah. What made you want to start off with Alone Together? It was a piece of... It's inspired by the poetry readings on Zoom, where you can just see people's faces, but it's not the same as reading in person. Yeah, it's been... Yeah, anyone knows us already knows us too. Like we know we do a lot of readings up and on Manchester and beyond, usually a couple of months, and it's been a funny experience the last couple of months, that's for sure of it. So, when Amanda does this one, well, I thought that straight away what she said is because you get when you've been locked down basically together, like this has been a challenging experience for both of us, really, in a lot of ways. Not split us, never split us, but it's been any couple will know is you can't see people you're friends with normally. It's been a difficult experience. So, this is our friends alone together. One by one, faces appear on the screen, some we've never seen before. Others we knew in what feels like another life. As we prepare to begin another night where we gather virtually so we can all be alone together. One by one, looking at each other silently, like in a concentration camp, barely able to look up at the camera with a terrified stare of uncertainty, our hair left to grow wild out of our windows. Staring into eyes, discerning motions, Smiles that will reach further than our hearts. Searching for signs, anything at all. But someone, somewhere, feels the same. Not wanting to be left behind. Feeling like everyone else has moved on. Catching tides and dreams through our words. Booking opinion, what we are hearing. Serenading each other in our time and knees. Lifting the lid whenever you would lead or just watch. 
reaching out hope, everything the same, alone together. Cheers, guys. Okay, now I'm going to do a solo piece next. And certainly when I've been in lockdown, it's given me a chance sometimes to reconnect with a few roots of poetry. And this first piece I'm going to do today, and the other one will be later as well, are both very, very short markings. I've been getting a lot of these more nature poems recently. I mean, when you've been stuck inside and all you're going to see is a tree or flowers doing them outside, not really been able to do much else. It's been just looking at folks and things like that. So this first poem I'm going to do today is called The Flowers. Out of our sight, flowers are coming into bloom, like something had been said by nature, groaning silently in the breeze, watching shadows dip early that morning, metamorphosing across rings of truth, by days in isolation that spring, before growing old in a matter of moments, out of the restless tension of all of our words, moving itself along in silent wisdom, brushing itself in the air of Buddhist prayer, murmuring of all this spring could be ruined, begin afresh, afresh, afresh next year. Cheers, guys. And yeah, uh, I'm going to do my ranting poem called Inside Out. We can't stay inside forever, so let's throw open the doors and live our lives as we play a deadly game of tag, crossing our fingers and hoping we're not it. We need to be exposed to gain immunity. I'm sure we'll be all right, probably. It mostly gets all, gets the old and frail. Kids, kiss your gr grandma goodbye and let's go to the beach. They will all just have to die. They didn't have long left anyway, and I need to get back to normal. It's not that I don't care, I just can't stay inside forever. Babies taken by the violence, fake news, healthy people gone. Fake news, anything I don't want to hear, fake news. Plug my ears with my fingers and laugh along like it's all a big joke. Watch as the reaper takes us unfortunate souls, complain as the numbers are reported and insist on going outside. Spread the virus like your life depends on it and keep spreading your chosen lives. Fantastic. I do like the, the repetition there. And this is talking of, you don't, you don't want to say this as always, but I do like the repetition of fake news and that. But that's something you have to plan in your own piece originally, the repetition. Yeah. Up. Mm -hmm. sure love that. Right, okay, my other sort of piece is the other Philip Mark one I talked about before. And this is called The Trees in Lock. Blowing itself along with the breeze, hung outside your window. You can see its apples blush like diamonds in the early morning sunset of lockdown, stashing its secrets in shadows along rustic leaves, laced with rattling gates left unattempted across deserted streets, dangling there in archway of wonderment, mummified in its sway. Feeling like our mess, just out of reach. Cheers, guys. Okay, now this is going to be our last poem tonight. We're already doing a couple later today. And Amanda, what is this last poem? This is called The Cure for Broken Dreams. You started this one up again, Amanda. Yeah, this is the one where I did the bus street stances and you did the last three. Yeah, what made you then? Because obviously you started off to go and start this poem up where you did it. Because it, it didn't bore him when you're just carrying on the piece sometimes. I think I started it at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning because I did a lot of points at that time. And mm -hmm. I you couldn't do. get any further in. We were in the middle of writing this book and I thought I'll leave the rest of it to finish because I'm kind like that. She's very loving and kind and generous. So, anyway, I've got to say what I'm doing. My part is, I know we, we were going back to do straight away, which time did, my part was. Because mm -hmm. we were up a while ago, Amanda, didn't we? And when we were talking about the book, we were trying to remember who wrote what parts, didn't we? So, yeah. But yeah, I knew straight away what my words are. Okay, the cure for broken dreams. It's true that you can't pay the bills with dreams alone, but you can play solace to the noise invading your head, weaving words to be used as PPE for the soul, recycling fragments of your broken dreams, nothing is ever truly wasted. Life doesn't always work out the way you planned leaving you rearranging the puzzle pieces when nothing feels like it fits. Dreams are not made out of cardboard, more like putty waiting to be remoulded. When you've chased your dreams to the edge, sometimes you have to take the leap 
but other times you're ready to wake up or change the dream. It's your path to choose. Nothing is ever truly wasted, whether tapping away the edge of your consciousness or playing a soft piano, almost out of earshot, like a forgotten outtake from music platforms, going through a tunnel under a river. Putting your emotions alongside local gifts, stretched out freely in front of an open cathedral, and you were left raging at everything as it accelerated, leaving you wondering just who you should believe now. Whether you walk under the left or the right way home, or start another adventure, pushing your fears into your pockets, and not being afraid of those trackies up or bad roots. Until we cure ourselves. Right, guys, so that's it on article selection for you today. Now, where can this book be found, Amanda? It can be found on Amazon. And just in case you can't remember, this is what it looks like. Look at that, see, yeah? <laughs> oh, shiny. Shiny, 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 shiny. <laughs> now, there's one thing we forgot to say before, John. Anybody that we know got my last book, The Streets Were All We Could See, we know the similarity in the title, Amanda, wouldn't we? Yeah. I think you were referring to random ideas about. And you came up with this, and I really liked it. And you were joking. So I said, you were doing that. Usual case in my case, <laughs> that, honestly. But I don't remember when we did run away from the seven words last year. How did that start, Mum? That started off with you trying to be funny and then just carrying it on. That's for a recurring pattern here, honestly, sometimes. I know we are looking at doing the book next year. Called, what's that book called, Mum? Run away with me again in eight words. Yeah. And it's eight words. Eight words, yeah. And we've done more than eight words, and I'll tell you that now. So the book itself, series, this one can be found on Amazon. And Amazon, and Amazon. Yeah, books <laughs> and Kindle, of course, right. So can I watch the Kindle quite cheap, man? It wasn't the same as that. I think I've set it for 99 pence. I thought it was. The book's, the book's not 99 pence. No, <laughs> I wish it was. Or it's Amazon would like to take me here for us, so they won't let us sell it for them. I know, guys and girls, it's a great book. Take care, stay sane. Bye. Bye.